The Upper House considered the report on the National Council's Women Caucus on their visit to Kavango East and West regions, tabled by Swapo MP Victoria Kaumo. The report highlights challenges on maternal health, especially with lack of facilities to accommodate expecting and nursing mothers. The committee also noted that the envisaged maternity ward at Rundu Hospital has not been completed since construction started in 2014. Equally, the hospital for Nkurenkuru is yet to be completed. The current maternity ward at the Rundu Hospital only has a bed capacity of 30 and this too small to accommodate all the expected mothers seeking care and those who had given birth. As a result, pregnant women and nursing mothers, together with their babies, were being accommodated on the floor of the hospital due to lack of space. The House also considered the report on the Standing Committee on Security and Constitutional and Legal Affairs on its visit to military bases all over the country. Tabling the report, Swapo MP Nico Mungenga raised concern around the living condition of soldiers on army bases in the country. We thought it best to fast track the process of bettering the conditions, um, the accommodation and so on, the living conditions of soldiers. We have to meet the ministers of finance and the minister of defense force to fast track the process in terms of explaining and then also requesting them to go to these bases and to see for themselves, especially the former South African bases that were uh, built uh, for temporary purposes to see the conditions uh, physically as to uh, how these uh, uh, men in uh, uniform are living. Another report tabled was the Urban and Rural Development Standing Committee, which assessed farm assistance from the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry, and the impact of drought in various regions. Salmi Angula, NBC News, Vinduk.